running behind again, but eh, whatever. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So what am I missing here door-wise or pipe-wise that I do not have ten moons remaining? See, I got that path down there. There's that little side path down there. So it's probably on the second tier or third tier of this, I don't know. I'm just gonna go around the perimeter here. Follow the left wall like a maze. Uh, was it... this? Maybe? Let's see. We can always go back out. Oh yeah, it was definitely this. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this one, actually. Um, I Because I mentioned earlier in the walkthrough that there's gonna be a remix of that Scooter P-Switch run. But, uh, what, what's... What's different about this this time? Could it be that there is no scooter? Why? Yes! <laughs> so, we've got to do speedrun tactics all over the place here. So let's begin. The pain, probably. I probably want to be really close to the edge of this, and be really close to the edge of this to avoid bullets of doom. There we go, okay. And what was the second section again? Wasn't that the jumping section? Which is... Yeah, that's uh, that's just a lot easier to do with a scooter. Because, <laughs> yeah, the timing is going to be a lot tighter this time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'll just wait for the P-Switch to end its reign of terror here. And... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't miss the P-Switch. Okay. And... Oh! I was gonna say, I wanna dive up each of the stairs, because the dive, you get that boost of speed there. Uh, but, I, can, I cannot long jump my face into the stair, so... Yeah, that's gonna, it's gonna cost you too much time. Okay, here we go. Let's try and get into a rhythm of sorts and hope for the best... Whoa, 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 Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Okay. <laughs> Now the last one. How did this one go? Because uh, because the the secret moon is still up on those uh, breakable platforms down the right side, but you got, you kind of have to kind of have to think about your route a little better without the scooter, you know? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do like a 90 degree dive off to the left side after the first stair, and then roll up the death platforms, <laughs> maybe. Let's see, I'm just gonna try and angle myself off to the right to begin with. Actually, maybe I should try starting here, and then do the dives like this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but oh, that's definitely not gonna work if I long jump. <laughs> long jumping is like the death of the run if you are uh, gonna smack your face into the wall like that. <laughs> Alright, run number two of Doom. Let's go! Now, I guess the first one isn't that bad, just as long as you take the to the edges really quick, uh, like really tightly, because the uh, your your rolling angles, like you you probably realize this by now, but you're rolling when you're you cannot turn very tightly when you're rolling. All right. Oh! <laughs> I just popped up with this, this stupid piece of shit. <laughs> oh jeez, that is so dumb. All right. Oh no, no. <laughs> but again, is there any way to prevent that? <laughs> oh, maybe I just shouldn't shake anything when I'm approaching the P switch. Like I'll stop here, and then I resume. Okay, <laughs> that might be the key to P switch victory. Okay, that was pretty decent. Okay, whoa. Maybe I'll just go straight to this one and dive and dive, dive some more. I don't know if I am saving time or not. Oh, oh, jeez. I might not be. Wait, hold on, hold on. Long jump at the last second. Yeah. <laughs> last one. Because <laughs> I'm gonna go. Like that. Oh, shoot! I was gonna say, wait for the Sherms to do their shots. And then just turn myself naturally rather than doing a dive and then roll. 
Ah, pooperoos. So we're right back to the start once again. My nemesis P-Switch. Alright, I didn't touch anything there. I mean, I didn't shake anything there. And yeah, I'm shaking the Joy-Cons for maximum speed through this, so... Yeah. Not over here, though. This is gonna be dive territory. Oh! I might be getting off track and I'm wasting time. Oh, and I cannot long jump. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's why you can't long jump. So, what I, what I have to do when I'm coming out of the roll is absolutely make sure I'm out of the roll before I hit the jump button, otherwise I will long jump. Alright. Got to get the muscle reflexes in tip-top shape for victory. And... Dive! Dive! Can I skip one? Oh, I can! That actually might be useful for victory! Oh! Mm. Okay, okay, I'm gonna- wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna do it again? Yeah, okay! Just take off the pressure on the last one by just doing a regular, relaxed, long jump movement. And... Okay, I'm just gonna skip you guys. And do a little roll. And now we're gonna do the dives. And... Shoot, shoot, shoot. At least get this! At least get this! <laughs> Finishing road challenge! Complete! Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, okay! Okay, I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about you guys or anything. I think I can make it to the end now. I think. Yes. 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 <laughs> Vanishing Road Rush. Alright. That. I sweated bullets over. <laughs> Anything back over here just for kicks? Something like coinage is hidden on the edges of things. Nah, I didn't think so. This is just like the the landing pad for your victory, more than anything, I guess. And whoop, whoop. All right. So now that we have reached hint art velocity, there are ten hint arts to fill out the rest of the moons in this place. So I guess I could start with this nearby one here. And Poochie is obviously over at the Ruin the Kingdom. Can I just like... yeah. So obviously, I gotta show the moons as they go into the Odyssey. And... Well, then I'll cut over to the location I need to go, because I think that'll speed things along a little bit better for the part and the whatnot. So I'll see you there. Ruin the Kingdom. So what we seen was like a gouge with a bunch of squares and stuff like that, that on the ground. I don't remember where Poochie's location was. Uh, well, obviously there's a lot of squares in general. I mean like squares attached to the wall or something like that. Uh, maybe I should have taken a picture of that hint art. It's obviously not this. <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Just looking for those. Wait, was it at, was it here? No, maybe not. I thought it was like maybe confusing the spots, but nah, I don't think so. Yeah, like there's a lot of gouges out at the uh, ruined kingdom. So wait, actually, wasn't there like stuff around here that had gouges? Or well, not there at least. Okay. <laughs> It was definitely a gouged out floor, that is for certain. That was where the moon block was. There's no gouges there. And the boss arena is up top, which had nothing <laughs> gouge wise. So it had to have been back down there somewhere. Oh! I'm, I, I, I'm not. I have learned nothing from my speedrunning road. Um. <laughs> um. 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 I think it was actually this big spot here. Like, maybe I just didn't hit near where the spot was, because it, it wasn't all that distinct. Okay! So it was here. Found with Dark Sight Art 10! <laughs> Am I going in backwards order or something? <laughs> Alright, let's feed the moon god. 
Because we gotta show the growth. Alright, so we got that one. That was number 10. So are we going backwards? Perhaps we are. <laughs> uh, how do we go here next? Oh, this one. Uh, if you look very closely at the upper right corner, this is obviously at uh, Food Kingdom, is that see at the upper right corner of the platform where the purple coins are behind the pot of stew? There's a missing character, a teal character over there, and that is where we need to ground pound for the next moon. Did I call it the Food Kingdom? It's the Luncheon Kingdom. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I was talking about. This is the only place with food. Well, at least of this magnitude. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess this was the closest one. Perhaps... Cans! Cans! Yes! Yes! So it was by this pillar, right? Yeah! Victory is mine with number eight, not number nine. Who knows what order I'm getting these in. I guess it doesn't much matter as long as I get them. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. Feed the moon gods once again. <laughs> the moon gods, just, they want more. More! <laughs> Okay, so if that's number 8, and the other one is number 10, then that means number 9's probably, maybe, I don't know, could be this one. <laughs> this, I think, is at the Lake Kingdom, at the main dome where all those pillars were, and then there was those two broken pillars off on the right side. See you there! And we've made the travel safely. So now I'm gonna go... think that's the closest one to it? I think the other one's upper hot, like a uh, upper level one. And yeah, they see the pillars down here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it was between these, right? Or not these. This one? Yep, that one. Alright. Found with Dark Sider. Nine! Very nice. <laughs> now we're back in the... I guess you could say descending order, even though that wasn't the intent. I don't know how they mark them actually. So it's just like whatever one, whatever one you can get, just just get it. <laughs> it's not like that. It is much purpose to getting them in order anyway, I suppose. Hmm, Kidoki. So assuming that their numbering order is exact, then probably this one is number six? Maybe? This is at the uh, Lost Kingdom. This is a, a pretty tricky one, because while the spot is actually very distinct, finding it out of all that ground texture is, uh, it's kind of on the tricky side. <laughs> Lost Kingdom! So the spot that we're looking for is somewhere fairly near the start and along this right edge here. I'll know it if I see... Oh, here it is! See this? You can see the little bit of plant above it and everything. Victory! <laughs> Found with Dark Side Art 7! Yeah, so now we are indeed going down in descending order. We're, we're, we're back on track until I probably pick number five or something next and everything goes awry and everyone's sad. So does that mean we've now cleared out all the hint art up here? Maybe? Because if so, I guess this would be the next one. Oh, uh, I really want to take a picture of this one to show you how this works. Uh, this is a really obscure one, but you can basically tell that this is at the Seaside Kingdom. <laughs> but <laughs> the way that this is laid out is that it, it keeps directing you from one point to the other so that you know what you're looking at, because the the umbrellas and the, uh, the like, the, the pillars are, there's pillars like that all over, but those two specific pillars are at a spot that if you follow the arrows on that, you'll be able to find. And actually, what am I doing? I just warp around. So, I believe Takatu is right next to the beginning. Uh, like somewhere down... Oh no, 
down over there. Okay, so we start over there. <laughs> so, according to that, start at Takatu, and then you go over to the binoculars. See, here's uh, hello. <laughs> this is Takatu going over there? Uh huh. Uh huh. Actually, is there another? Uh, wait. Am I at the right? I thought there was multiple sets of binoculars here. I'm uh, actually no, because I, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's binoculars down that path. So I think they're they mean to go to this one here. So I, actually, I could have started here. I guess you could say. And then what you're supposed to do is look at these. Uh, look for a certain trifecta set of umbrellas. Maybe it's those three. Because I think th those two pillars were the one. Uh, yeah, it's got to be those three. And then south of those, according to the arrow, you're supposed to go over to that, I think. I think. So I could just warp from here, right? Just <laughs> hit a rolling canyon. Alright. I think that is how they wanted you to interpret it. I think... I think. So if I'm correct, it should be here. Yeah! <laughs> Found with Dark Side Art 6. Yep, we are in order indeed. And oh yeah, I can't just it's not not faster to walk there. <laughs> not not from that distance. And feed the moon gods. Feed me. <laughs> So we were here. What about going down here next? Maybe. Well, we're gonna try it. That's of course at the Snow Kingdom where that arch was. Oh, now I can get. I was right that there is a moon up there. Uh, back over at the first racetrack, there is that arch right near the beginning uh, when you enter the place. So, see you there. All right. Warp over here to above the ice well, dive in, head to the racetrack, and hopefully get up on top of that arch without any sort of issues. <laughs> hopefully. And oh, you, hey, you went out of ground pound posture. Dang it, Mario, you're ruining the immersion. <laughs> can I just like go into, yeah, I can go straight into that, yeah. I was gonna say, with, I don't know if I'll hit my face on the lip. But there is the wreath, and now we gotta get up top, once again, somehow. Maybe I just, like, backflip up it. Well, hold on, hold on. I backflip, wall kick, and then turn. Oh yeah, there we go. Right here, yeah! That's how it's done, baby. Found with Dark Side Art 5, and yep, indeedly do. We are in the Order Kangaroo, or something like that, I don't know. So, fear me! Okay, okay. Alright, relax. I'm getting, getting moons. Getting moons. Okay, since 4 was down the pathway by those binoculars, I presume that the next one is gonna be over here by the pathway? Oh. Come on, just let me talk to... There we go. This is at the Cloud Kingdom. Remember all those moon phases on the ground? We gotta look for the one that's got the half moon on that particular side. I think it's the upper left one, if I remember correctly. And I should be warping. And we made it. But will we make it through the clouds of doom? And man, what the screen adjusted properly, this doesn't look nearly as bright as it did before. Alright, so... I should probably just go over to the upper left one right away. Or did I say it was upper right? I don't know, but I'm gonna try this one, because I see... Okay! <laughs> there we go! Found with dark side art numero four. And yes, you'll still find Peach hanging out in the kingdoms, just... Just because, even though she says she's home, she must just pop out over to the same kingdom that you go to each and every time somehow. Like maybe she's got a camera in the Odyssey watching you and she heads you off at the pass or something like that. Three remain here... somewhere. <laughs> 
So if that's the last spot we went to, then maybe the next one is the one that was on this side. Maybe? Might be? That's obviously the Mushroom Kingdom's hedges. And we back, boys. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, that's not much closer. <laughs> I guess it's a bit closer. Yeah, there's like no warps to that particular area of the world. But yeah, I don't know if I, this is... I mean, yes, it is a little bit closer, but the thing about it is I can't... There's a whole river in my way. <laughs> uh, whichever way you take, I guess you'll make it. It'll be just fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. okay. So, perp... Was it here? <laughs> yeah, it was right here. Perfect. Woo! Found with Dark Side Art 3. And as long as I'm over at the Mushroom Kingdom, and Toadette's only got three more... <sighs> Guess I should, shouldn't I? I guess I should. Going in... <laughs> at least I think there's only three more here, if I remember correctly. Hello. Thanks. I'm I'm so glad I achieved something new. Yeah, that's because I got more of the hint art completed. Power Moon of Happiness. I guess Power Star of Happiness. Oh, that's not. Oh, what? Ooh, oh, 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 what? Do? Oh, oh. We can't 100% this yet. Well, what's the last two that I need to finish up? Does it have to do with the remainder, remaining the hint art fashion icon? Oh, that's right, I gotta buy some more junk. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I could do that now. I need to buy three more outfits. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've changed anyway. So yeah, I guess I just needed to buy things as I go. Oh, I should have actually did that last. Well, well. It just instinctively warped to the Odyssey and immediately threw <laughs> the moons onto the moon god. That's what the moon god does to you, man. That's what the moon god does to you. Alright, let's buy some cheap stuff. <laughs> I guess we could buy that. I, mean, I guess we just need three more. Maybe later, just to speed things along. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. and so that's one of each. Classic. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll wait for that. Because I'll, I'll wear the classic stuff so you can get a nostalgic burst of color. <laughs> and I guess I'll buy that. I'm just getting all the cheap stuff. Maybe later. Maybe later. Alright. Might as well. There we go. Yeah, I guess I should have done this maybe a little bit later on. I mean, a little bit earlier on, but eh, I don't know. I guess I, I, guess I thought there was more outfits that I'd buy by then. All right, we are ready to go with our classic Mario 1 NES coloration, which means we can now feed Toad with more achievements. She's the achievement god, and then she's gonna kind of trickle over moons at us until we finish off the list. <sighs> All right, hat icon, we got all the hats we need to collect. There's more to collect in the game, of course, but, you know, you know, you don't have to get all of them to get all the achievements. I have? Yay! So that means the Mushroom Kingdom is 100%ed! Yay! Thank you. I am, I'm never speaking to you again. Back to the Odyssey, over here. <laughs> no more. No more, because we are now 100%ed with this kingdom. No more Toadette achievements. Just a couple more hint art to go. So let's go ahead and do them. Moon Dark Side. We're back. So, wasn't there another one on, on this stack of vegetables? Yeah, over here. This is at the Cascade Kingdom over by the Boss Arena. At the very edge overlooking all little 
beautiful waterfall background details. 95% of this is probably loading screen. <laughs> anyway, I think that's the closest warp. So we warp, and we go. I'm just trying to show you the quickest paths to getting to these yourself, I suppose. But really, if I really wanted to save maximum time, I would probably just cut to the location, but it doesn't seem right to do that considering the the, the searching that goes on and whatnot. Uh, wait, was it one? I think, was it this one? Uh, was it this ledge, actually? Because, uh, uh, only that, oh, that isn't the right waterfall formation, it's those waterfalls. Yeah, because it had, oh, whoa, whoa, because it had a larger gap in between them. Uh, so maybe this one? Looking at this here, or maybe what? Uh, I'll just try this one. I don't think so, no. Hmm. How about over here? Because I'm pretty sure that it was one of these little edges. Uh, Hmm. Or maybe it was this one here. Okay, it was this one here. So that's over at this particular corner. So yeah, I was getting the background details mixed up there. Oh, that was number one. Hmm. So we once again skipped going in our backwards order, but hey, they're unmarked. How am I supposed to know? Unless I use a guide or something like that, but no, no guides for me. That defeats... <laughs> the purpose. <laughs> and there we go. Number two is probably on that last vegetable pile of sculptures that we haven't went over here yet to do. Oh, what, yeah, but, but, but I'm stuck in the leaves! Okay. <laughs> over here. Uh, that's the helipad over at New Donk City near the tallest building, if I recall correctly. The loading screens continue, but luckily you don't have to wait for that. Alright, so all the way up here, I think is where we should start. The very tippy top, just because I can jump down to basically anywhere over here. And then I'll take a look-see from the sky. Oh, yep, that's the one. There's the helipad, there is the warning, well, yeah, I guess you'd say warning markers. That means the moon must be right over there. Found with Dark Sight R2. And that is all for the Dark Side. Because that place is now 100%ed! Woohoo! As a matter of fact, every other kingdom should be 100%ed. Except for one. But yeah, if you take a look at the lists here, 81, I, you can just, I'll just skim through this really quick. You can see, if you uh, look for the star, basically you'll know if you've got absolutely everything. So there we go. We have reached total catch up on the 100 percenting. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we do the darker side of the moon. And it's going to be ugly, believe me.